under the limit though. <laughs> Kiss. <laughs> Yo, 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 welcome to my channel. My name is Alberto. So a few days ago, I went fishing with uh, Bjorn and a group of friends. The aim was to catch some mackerel, but I think it was too early in the season or the mackerel just wasn't there. Uh, it was a generally bad day. It was raining a lot. The forecast said no rain, but it was raining like crazy. But then the rain stopped and we managed to catch some small cods. Mine were too small to keep. Bjorn actually caught two that were this fucking plane. Bjorn caught two cards that were okay to keep. So today I'm gonna do some fish sticks, fiskpinnar in Swedish. Traditional fiskpinnar with some new potatoes that I went to Staffan Stop to get. Uh, the Swedish new potatoes and uh, with the remoulade sauce. For the remoulade sauce we need some pickles. I actually have a lot right here in this fridge. So let's go into the cellar and get some uh, pickles. Light. This is the fridge. Here I have my kimchi. This right here is a uh, guanciale. That's for another video, so let's not talk too much about that. I have some pickled rams and capers that we can use. Here I have some purple carrots. Fermented rhubarb. Hmm, yeah. Let's try with fermented rhubarb as well. I think I have some sauerkraut in the other fridge. So uh, let's go into the kitchen and see what we find over there. From the moment I saw you, when I looked in your eyes, Yes, some sauerkraut. This is actually not uh, cabbage. This is uh, kohlrabi. Kohlrabi? 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 Kohlrabi. Glass coal in Danish. So let's put the camera here. Okay, so I got the ferments and the pickles right here. I'm gonna pop them to the side and explain all the other ingredients. So here is the cod that I've sliced into sticks or fingers fish fingers that we're gonna drop in some eggs then some flowers and then some breadcrumbs these are the Swedish new potatoes that I was talking about and these are from a guy I know in Staffanstorp he grows a lot of nice vegetables especially tomatoes if you haven't seen the lasagna video I have his tomatoes in that one uh, preserved them from last year these are the first potatoes of the season the new potatoes I'm gonna boil them together with some seaweed my friend Andreas caught this seaweed is actually kelp so this seaweed is going to boil together with the potatoes one step so in with the potatoes, the seaweed, this is how perhaps it's too much of water. Okay, so the remoulade sauce, I'm gonna use fermented carrots, pickled rams and capers, fermented cabbage, fermented rhubarb, curry powder, these amazing eggs from uh, Safran Stop in Safran Stop, some uh, cold pressed canola oil, grated apple, and this is an onion from Italy actually, it's called Cipolla Tropea. My girlfriend got this for me, she was recently in Italy and she brought a lot of good stuff. She also brought this onion, it's very sweet and I think it would go perfect with this sauce. So let's start out with the onion. I'm only gonna need a small piece. We're gonna finally chop this onion. Right, so finely chopped onion. Fermented rhubarb from last year. Smells super nice. We only need two of these. Fermented carrot. One fermented carrot. Some fermented kohlrabi. Kohlrabi? I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna chop the kohlrabi. Like that. A carrot. I'm gonna julienne it and then buno acid. Let's give this a try. This is actually two years old. And it's still good. Salty, sour, has this fermented flavor. Still has a crunch, which is amazing. Mm. 
It's delicious. Sorry. So the fermented rhubarb, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just finely chop it. You have the sweet onion, the tangy rhubarb, the crunchy fermented flavor from the carrots, and um, the kohlrabi has this cabbagey, like kind of like sauerkraut. It's gonna be perfect. And then with some grated apple. Let's make a mayo. Some rose vinegar. Oh, it's boiling now. Oh, it smells like uh, the sea with the seaweed. So this is an egg yolk, salt and some uh, rose vinegar. And slowly add some of the cold pressed canola oil. Canola oil. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. My boss, my friend and my colleague, Mikael Föck, taught me the best way to cook potatoes. So, you want to boil them a few minutes and then take them off the heat and let them chill in this hot water until they're done. Best way of cooking potatoes, period. Okay, so the mayo is done. I'm gonna flavor this mayo with some uh, curry powder. A little bit more. Perfect. I'm gonna grate maybe half an apple like this on this rough microplane. And then chop it a bit. All right. So we have the mayo here flavored with curry. So I'm gonna add some of the apple, some of the carrots, some of the kohlrabi, the onions, and the rhubarb. Actually, I'm gonna add all of it. And last but not least, some of these rams and capers. Like this, looks amazing. Let's give it a try. Mm. Wow, a little bit more salt. Otherwise, it's perfect. Ah, yeah. So potatoes are chilling here. Remoulet sauce is chilling here. The cod is right here. I'm gonna line them up here. Eggs, flour, breadcrumbs, hot oil. Grab two of these pieces, drop them in here in the egg wash, drip it off, straight into the flour. And then back into, and then back into the flour and then back into the egg and then breadcrumbs. The fish fingers are ready to be fried. Okay, so here I have some uh, clarified butter. Butter, butter. I don't know how to say it. I don't like butter. I don't like to say butter. And butter, uh, I sound too Swedish. So I'm gonna say the Spanish word mantequilla now. So here I have some clarified mantequilla. I'm gonna drop this fish finger straight in here. The other one. Check my potatoes. The potatoes are done. It's raining like crazy. Just like that, it's done. This one broke. Merde. I'm gonna take out the seaweed from the potatoes. Here I have some brown mantequilla. I'm gonna add to the potatoes and give them a nice swirl in this so they get all covered in this nutty brown mantequilla y uh, niceness. A little bit of salt. Potatoes, done. Sauce, done. Fish, done. I guess it's time to plate now. All right, so first, potatoes. A lot of potatoes. Then, fish. Something like that. And then this nice sauce right here. It's not super pretty, but it works. A little bit of a salad, some apple and uh, rhubarb. No, with some apple and asparagus. So there we have it. Nothing fancy. Fish fingers with remoulade sauce and new potatoes. Okay, so let's try it. This is the last rose kombucha from last year.
fish, potato, cremule. So many childhood memories with this sauce and this crunchy fish and the potatoes. Mm. I don't think you can taste the seaweed on these potatoes. No, that was a waste of time. Whatever. Best thing about this plate is the sauce. The curry with the sweetness from the apples and the funkiness from the fermented things. The oniony flavor from the capers with this uh, crispy fish. Perfectly cooked potato. Delicious. Mm. Mamma mia. Delicious. Husman's cost. If you liked this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get notifications whenever I upload videos. This was delicious. My name is Alberto. Thank you very much. Take care. Ciao! Yeah! I'll make you move like your boots are on.